Yes, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Veterans Minimum YouTube page. I'm your boy, Nick the Lamb here, and today we're going to talk about the NFL's most overrated teams. But before we get to that, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel, give a thumbs up on all the videos because they're that good. Follow us on Twitter, at Veterans Minimum, on Instagram, Veterans underscore Minimum. With that being said, today we're going to talk about the NFL's most overrated teams, and how we're going to base this off of is... The boys out in Vegas, right? You know me. If you know anything about me and the show, you know that I'm a degenerate. I love me some betting. I love me the sports books, as you can see here. So what Vegas does year in and year out, they put out a win total for every single team in the NFL. And right away, they let you know exactly how they feel about your favorite team. They completely delete you from the picture of being a Super Bowl contender, or they might have high expectations. Today, we're going to look at these three particular sides and how I feel that Vegas is overrating them based on their win total. So, as we mentioned, Vegas win totals, a team that is projected to win a certain amount of games, but we think, but in particular, I think, is going to go under their expected total. We're going to factor in many things. The schedule, the games they're favored in. Changes in the division because you do play your division opponent twice a season. So those six games, year in, year out, you know what they're going to be. And off-season moves that they've made in the organization. I'll give you guys a quick little example of what my, I mean by that. So let's say Vegas is projecting a team to win 10 games, right? Vegas is high on this team, but I think they're going to go under that. That makes that team overrated. With that being said, let's move on over to our very first team that's on the menu and that team that I think is one of the most overrated teams coming into the 2018 NFL season is the Tennessee Titans. Vegas win total is currently at eight wins for the Tennessee Titans coming out of the AFC South division. Let's take a look at what the Titans are facing, right? In 2017, they had a record of nine and seven, five and one in the division. But, but there is a little bit of an asterisk on this. Three of the nine wins came against backup quarterbacks, right? They played Jacoby Brissett twice, and they played one game against the Macho Man, Tommy Savage. Watson played one game against them and lit him up. Remember, he put up that 50-burger against them. They didn't get to play Andrew Luck, who was out for the entire 2017 season. Moving on over to our second point, improvements in the division. Watson and Luck are expected to be back and are going to be under center for both of their teams. If you take away those three wins that the Titans had, against Brissett twice and the macho man Tommy Savage, they got outscored by 51 points in those games. In all other games, I should say. Their schedule, they play the AFC East. Mm, say what you want. You got to play the Patriots. That's a tough game. And then they play the NFC East, who, you know, call me a homer or not, I think the NFC East year in, year out is very competitive. And one of the biggest indicators, Vegas every single year, they give you the point spread from weeks 1 to 16. They don't give you week 17 because a lot of things get factored in, right? You're not sure whether a team has clinched the playoff, whether a team is trying to get a higher draft pick. Maybe they're resting guys because they are the number one seed. So you never have a point spread on week 17. I think that the Tennessee Titans are due to regress from their 9-7 and seven week, uh, nine and seven record, I should say. I'm not that high on Tennessee, mostly because I think that the rest of the division is going to get better. Moving on over to team number two. The Detroit Lions, out of the NFC North, Vegas has their win total, expected win total, at eight games. And uh, this is another team that I think is highly overrated. Five and one as well in the division last season. In 2017, nine and seven record. They beat Aaron Rodgers. Well, actually, they didn't beat Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers missed both those games against the Detroit Lions because he broke his collarbone. Two and zero against the Packers last year. This is a team that... I believe it was about 20 plus years since they won in Lambeau and they got the win in Lambeau because Rodgers was out improvements in the division. Like I'm talking about Rodgers returns for green Bay cousins goes to Minnesota uh, year two for Mitchell Trubisky. The jury is still out on him, but now they got Matt Nagy as the head coach for the Chicago bears. And you know, one thing that I like is I like having a young quarterback with a offensive line. I think that's a perfect pairing that we've seen be successful in the past. The Lions still have no answer at running back. Uh, it's They have the longest drought in the NFL 
of running backs to not gain over 100 yards rushing. I think Stafford has, it's been since I think Thomas Jones, not Thomas Jones, uh, Kevin Jones, that they've had a 100-yard uh, running back. Uh, their schedule, they play the AFC East. They play the NFC West. NFC West, I think, is going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, they're also favored in four of their 16 games, and they're a pick em against Buffalo in the middle of the season. So I'm not that high on Detroit. I think they regress tremendously, and I think that they go anywhere from six to seven wins this year. Last but not least, and this was a, a team that Impy and I on my sports betting and daily fantasy podcast, Degeneration Bets, had a big debate on and actually made a wager on the show. Uh, check it out if you guys want to hear more. But it's the Kansas City T- uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Excuse me. Uh, the Vegas win total for them is eight and a half wins. Now, under Andy Reid, they have won more than 10 games in his five seasons with Kansas City and being the head coach. And let's take a look at Kansas City. Last year, 10 and 6, 5 and 1 in the division. But there's been a lot of changes over in Kansas City. Uh, QB change. I just think there's going to be a natural digression for the offense from Alex Smith to Pat Mahomes. Now, you can say that Pat Mahomes gives them the upside of a Super Bowl. And I agree with you. And the reason why is because you've seen the ceiling for Alex Smith. Divisional round of the playoffs is going to be a mismatch uh, for your team. He's not going to be on the same level playing field as the Brady's and the Phillip Rivers and the Ben Roethlisberger's over in the AFC. So they get rid of him. Not only do they get rid of Alex Smith, who has been very stable for the Kansas City Chiefs his entire tenure there with Andy Reid, you lose Marcus Peters, who, in my opinion, is the best corner in football, as well as Derek Johnson, a staple for this defense for over a decade. Uh, anchors of the defense the last couple of years, they're out the door. And Matt Nagy, who we mentioned is going to be a benefit to Mitchell Trubisky. He was the offensive coordinator. He's now the head coach for Chicago. Last but not least on the Chiefs, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but their opening six games, sleepy time, bedtime, at Chargers, at Steelers, 49ers at home, at Broncos, Jaguars at home, at the Patriots. They're favored in seven of their 16 games. So what that is telling you that they're favored in seven of 16 games, you look over at Detroit before, four of their 16 games is if you just base that off what they're projected to win games are projected to win and games they're favored in it gives you a good indication as to what vegas is expecting each team to do uh look there is a lot of unknown with this with this kansas city team and i know we're spending a lot of time on the chiefs but anytime there's a quarterback change there is a lot of unknown so all these numbers that you're seeing where they're favored in seven of 16 games that's because we haven't seen pat mahomes Pat Mahomes only played in the Week 17 game last year against Denver, and it was meaningless. The Chiefs had already locked up the playoff seating, and the Broncos had nothing to play for. So these are the three NFL teams that I think are the most overrated coming into 2018 based on what Vegas is projecting them to win. Uh, If you want to hear more about sports betting and daily fantasy, I host a uh, sports betting and DFS podcast. Bam! Degeneration Bets. You can find that at Degeneration Bet on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at The Lamb Show, Twitter and Instagram. Give a thumbs up to the video. Leave a comment below. I'll try to get to it if I get the chance. And uh, yeah, more videos coming in the near future. Peace.